Okay, let's take a look at question number 68. Now, 68, immediately we see a fraction equation to each other. There will be many ways to solve the same exact thing. So let's take a look. Now, what value n makes the equation true? So in there, we have four different answers. We have many different ways to solve this. We can either do a multi uh, plug in or cross multiplication or even finding direct relationships. Let's take a look. We we'll have 81 over 10 equals 9 over n. So you can solve it. Oh, 81 go to a 9, you divide by 9. So that means 10 go to n, I divide by 9 also. So we'll have 10 over 9. So this is a direct relationship or a ratio problem. So, so this is one method. Okay, so, and that will change into 1 over 9 and 1. What about another method? Well, we have seen this before is if we start with a fraction, we can have a cross multiplication, which means I'm going to solve for 81n equal to 10 times 9, which is 90. By division on 81 on both sides, I have n equal to 90 over 81. As we simplify, we have the exact same thing. But what's another way to do this? Well, we have plugging in. Well, again, this is very, very troublesome. So I actually do per, um, personally suggest the relationship one is going to be my best favorite. If not, a cross multiplication will do. Okay, cross multiplication. And plugging in will be troublesome because you got to do it four times. So 81 over 10 equal, is that equal to 9 over 1? Well, definitely not. So it's not equal to. And I'm going to plug in 81 over 10 equals 9 divided by 1 over 9, which is actually 10 over 9 if you want to do that. And again, there's a whole lot of calculation. And then we're going to do on so on and so forth. If you are preferring to do, plug in. Okay. But again, I personally don't suggest that. 